A little more than a year ago, something happened in the art world, and it was never to be the same again. A painting was sold at an auction for a price tag that was as unlikely as it was astounding. An amount that more than tripled any previously sold works of art by timeless masters such as Leonardo da Vinci, Vincent van Gogh, and Ringo Starr. But the artist who created the piece was not a household name at the time. In fact, he was a virtual unknown before the sales price made headlines. Of course, he didn't stay unknown for very long. The artist, who legally changed his name to just that, experienced somewhat of a personal renaissance and produced a flurry of artwork that was quickly bought up by collectors, museums, and doctors' offices everywhere. And then this incredible rags-to-riches story took a sudden turn for the worse. Allegations of authenticity had the artist once again dominating global headlines. Amidst the media frenzy and controversial art house trials, the artist disappeared into his Napoli's estate and closed the doors on the art world as well as the public. Tonight, we have the first interview with the artist since he vanished into reclusion. He came ready to discuss some of the unanswered questions that have left the world of art and the world in general wondering, just like what is the truth? Thank you for being here today. So, Mr. The Artist, a year ago, you left the art world a broken place, filled with doubts of the authenticity of your paintings. Set the record straight for the people. Are your paintings the real McCoy? What does that say? <laughs> Get over here. I think it's, it's signed with a disclaimer. It's signed not a photograph. So you're telling me the world that your paintings are paintings after all? Not a photograph. It isn't? It looks exactly like a photograph of Billy Zane. Not a photograph. <laughs> so what you're saying is that your paintings are paintings after all? Fucking bitch. You, Not a photograph. You, you, you can't say that. Can't, dude. Yes, but you can't. <laughs> you know what? Artist is out. Despite the <clears throat> abrupt conclusion to our interview, the ultra-private painter opened the doors of his Los Angeles studio so that we could get a sneak peek of the work he is prepping for his gallery opening, slated to kick off next month. What? It's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. What do you call it? I call it blur. <laughs> <laughs> 